Hi, thank you for tuning in again. So we are encouraged by your viewership over the practical series. So we're going to make a series of videos that will tackle some of the main questions in paper two. Hope that they are helpful for you in prepping for your O-levels. Leave us comments, uh, like the video, subscribe and share with us how we can be better. Thank you. Questions about DC circuits is a constant in paper two and they can constitute between five to about eight marks. That's close to 10% of the paper. So it's important that you know how to do them because they are very easy to score. So let me just go through a few years of papers and hopefully you will get the concept right. The main thing that they are testing is that you are able to recall and apply all this formula. <clears throat> so the first is how do you calculate charge, which is in coulombs. I multiply by T, time must be in seconds, I is in amperes, V equals to W over Q, work is in joules, most important V equals to IR and resistance in ohms. How to calculate total resistance in series, in parallel, how to calculate power which is in watts, how to calculate energy which is power multiplied by time is in joules. So you see all these questions, they are trying to find ways to test if you can apply this. Let us go through them quickly. Let's start with the 2017 paper first. So before we go on to the question, I always like to just draw out the current flow and label them. So I have I1 that's coming down to Z. Once you hit this junction, it will split to I2 and I3. And it comes back together into the same value as I1. So this is how the current flow. So you see this is helpful. Uh, in the first question already. So resistors W and X each have a resistance of 6 kilo ohm. So take, be careful of prefix. Kilo means multiply by 1000. So name two resistors that have the same current in them. So if you look at this, right, the two resistors that have the same current is actually Z and W because that's uh, where the main current flows through. So it's Z and W two resistors with the same potential difference across them. So if they are connected in parallel, they will have the same potential difference. Okay, so in this case it's X and Y. Right, okay. So if they are in series, these two in a sense they are in series, they will have the same current that's flowing through. If they are in parallel, they will have the same PD across them. So this is a principle you have to constantly remember. Show that the total resistance is 15 kilo ohms. So we're going to split this into three groups of resistors. So let's call this group RA. So X and Y is RA, so they are connected in parallel. So we are using this formula over here. So 1 over RA is equals to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. So it's 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6. 3 over 6. RA is equals to 2 kilo ohms because you flip this over so r total will be equals to this plus this plus this because all three is in series so they are testing you if you know this so it's seven plus six plus two which we just found out. so you get 15 kilo ohms that's how you get two marks calculate the current in resistor w so the current that flows through over here is actually the current that flows through the entire circuit. So you just have to use V equals to IR over here. Okay, so use the total EMF and you use total resistance which you have just calculated. So I is equals to V over R. So V is 12, resistance is 15 kilo ohm. So it's 15000. So you will get. 0 0.0008 okay unit is ampere so we can leave it as that calculate pd across resistor z so the potential difference across this we know the resistance we know that the current that go through z will be the same current that go through w all right so you see they are applying this one so v is equal to ir so i will be 0 0.0008 resistance is actually 7000 so need to convert your kilo so so i get 5.6 
Okay, all right. One thing to note is that PD across each of these component cannot be larger than 12 because these three PD add together will give you 12. So this answer should be fairly safe. Let's look at the questions from 2019 paper. So it's fairly simpler, uh, different way. Uh. So you have two, these two are in series, series, this set and this set are in parallel. So again, I will write out my current is I1. I1 will split to I2 and I3, then it comes back to I1 again. So I2 is the same current that goes through W and X, I3 same that goes through X, Z and Y. Resistance are all given, current through W is 8 times 10 to the power minus 3, so I2 is equals to 8 times 10 to the power minus 3. So I always write out what is inside in the diagram so it's easier for me to see. Calculate potential difference across resistor W, so they are testing if they can apply Ohm's law. So V equals to IR, current they have given you 8 times 10 minus 3, uh, resistor W is 900, so you will get 7.2 volts. Show that the PD across the battery terminal is 9.6. So there are two ways you can do this. You can find the PD across here and you add them up together with 7.2, you'll get answer. Or I can find what is the total resistance over here. I use the current that's going through, I can also find the answer. So I'm going to find total resistance. So let's call this RA. So RA will be equals to 900 plus 300 equals to 1200. So, so the PD V is equals to IR. So current is 8 times 10 minus 3 multiply 1200. So you got 9.6. All right, you showed it already. Okay, votes. Calculate the current in resistor Z. So current in resistor Z over here. Okay, so this same current that goes through uh, will be the same current over here and over here. So we are going to use 9.6. Okay, divide by the total resistance. So let's call this uh, RB. RB is equal to 800 plus 700, so 1500 ohms. So I is equal to V over R, so V is 9.6, resistance is 1500. 0 0.0064. Okay, so this is how. I solve for my five marks question. Okay, let's look at one last year. Let's look at this 2016 paper. So I have these two in series. So again, I write out my current. So go out here, this I2, I3, then comes back to I1 again. Right, 12 volt, everything is inside. Combine resistance of all resistors. So again, see here, they are testing you this and this. See this as one set first, so we're going to do this RA first, then after that, we are going to do this as a whole, as a parallel. RA is equal to 8 plus 2 equals to 10 ohm. 1 over R total will be equal to 1 over 10, this set, plus 1 over 6. So, uh, common factor of, I'm going to use 60. 60, so R total is equals to 60 over 16, so it's just 3.75 ohms, okay? Current in the resistor of 8 ohm is this one. So current that goes through this will be the same current that goes through this as well, so it's all the same. So we are going to use this 12, right? So you see, it's the same type of question as this one, okay? So you see they are repeating themselves. So I is equal to V over R. So V, you need to know that you need can use 12. Resistance, we use this whole group, which is 10. So you get 1.2.
1.2 ampere so easy two marks why is it two marks because they need you to see to recognize that you need to use the total resistance here okay power dissipated in the resistors or the 6 ohm resistance okay so to calculate power i have three sets of formula iv i square rv square over r so i always try to use values that they have already given to me so i have resistance so this one this one then i ask myself do i have the current or do I have the potential difference? So I can calculate the current, but in this case, the PD is already given 12. So I'm going to use this formula. So P is equal to V square over R. So V is 12 square over 6. So 24. So it's 24 watts. Okay. All right. Charge flowing through the battery in 10 minutes. So to calculate the charge that's flowing to the battery, okay, uh, I'm applying this formula. Q is equal to I T. Okay, so you need to know that time is has to be in seconds. So you need to convert this to seconds. So to calculate charge, we need to find what is the current first. So I one is equal to I two plus I three, or I can just use PD divided by the total resistance which is over here so that will be an error carry forward so I want to use back this in case this is wrong this will still be correct I1 is equals to V over R so V is 12 combined resistance is 3.75 so it's equals to 3.2 okay and next Q is equals to I T. So I is 3.2. Time is 10 minutes. I need to convert to seconds. So 10 multiplied by 60. zero coulombs. So that's it. That's how you get 8 marks. So I hope that this will help you. All right. So it's not overly difficult. So you can see that a lot of concepts keep repeating. They want you to see if you understand PD across parallel is the same. Current flowing through series is the same. So these are the things you need to remember. And of course, all these formulas. See you in the next video. Hey, isn't that helpful? Now, just by watching the video, I'm sure you learn how to tackle electricity question. So make sure that you like and subscribe and stay tuned because there are more such questions type of videos coming up. Okay?